Indra Dhanush Dilli is a festival of Indian classical and folk dances where the talent of today's youth is propagated. Sunena or the Society for the Upliftment of National Arts in India initiates this idea providing a fitting platform. The evening staged many classical forms, like the most popular folk dance of Assam, Bihun Ritya. Based on the rhythmic exuberance of music, the dance involves a lot of brisk stepping, hand movements and swaying. Indra Dhanush has hosted more than 112 youth artists till now. This festival's main aim is to showcase youth talent. They are the torchbearers of this uh, art form in the next generation because if not for these youth then it will die, the art form will die with the gurus who, have, who are uh, pre preserving it. So these youth uh, talent are showcased in the Indra Dhanush festival. A magnificent spectacle was the Purulia Chow performance. Chow is a form of tribal martial arts which was transformed into a dancing technique. In Purulia Chow, the performers adopt a larger than life getup covering their faces and body with heavily decorated masks and costumes. The style is acrobatic and energized in nature. The performers here presented glimpses of mythical icons. It's a huge platform, especially when so many youngsters are now gradually getting into learning classical dance, learning folk art. Of course, the number is not so huge as compared to the Western style, but this is our tradition. And the more the platforms, the more uh, enthusiastic the artist is because uh, at the same time, it's, it's, uh, it's a platform where visual is a huge thing. And if you get a platform at such a young age, you feel inspired and it's also uh, great to carry on the tradition in future. In a subtle mix of the Bhavam, Ragam, Talam, along with the Nritya, the Bharatnatyam performance proved to be spellbinding. In a group performance, they presented the Tilana, where one could see the elaborate use of footwork along with rigorous dancing. In a duet, Satvita Shankar and Medha Hari presented a complex piece where the performers held on to a hand of one another's. Their timing and choreography showed their mastery in the art form. Art forms like this really have to be um, you know, given platforms like this to encourage them because I'm from Kerala and I don't get to see Kadagali performances in Kerala. Only since I came to New Delhi, I got to see this performance. It's actually really good and I really feel that artists should be encouraged in this way and then, you know, more shows should be organized this way. Moving from east to south, the transition in the classical arts could be seen. 
Kathakali, the dance drama style of Kerala was also performed. The elaborate makeup, the heavy costume and headgear are very similar to the Purulia Chau style. But the dancing style is rather intricate. With intense facial expressions, gestures and footwork, the artists can convey an entire story. <laughs>